hello. I didn't have any intention on recording myself and talking, but I was just having like a really hard morning for no reason. I mean, yes, reason. It's really childish and I'm trying to be aware of that. Like this isn't something that should be ruining my morning or making me sad because it's really silly. I mean, I don't know, I guess it's just how humans are. We get upset over silly things and I'm just trying to put like a positive spin on it and motivate myself. And I mean, it's really a silly thing. I'm sure a lot of people will hear this and be like, oh my God, honestly, I'm thankful that this is like what's making me upset right now. It's not something a lot more serious because there's been more difficult things I've been through that were obviously still hard for me. But like, you know, just foster care and moving around, not knowing where I'm going to live. Just, there's plenty of hard shit. And then this is like the one thing, I mean, those things made me upset. This is the thing that's really bothering me. It's so silly. I auditioned, I didn't even audition, we're just, I'm in, a, I'm in a musical class, it's so silly. And I didn't get a part that I was really, that I thought I was gonna get. Not because I thought I was good, but just, I was like, oh, this person's like, oh, I'll give you this part. And then someone else auditioned and they're like, oh, actually, sorry to do this to you. This person gets the part. And then there's like another role too that I'm gonna be doing guitar instead of singing, which it's like such a, it's such a silly thing to be upset about. I have literally less than like a year of singing experience. I'm like the only non-adult in this class. All these people are, you know, have at least several years. All these people have done musicals before. I've never done a musical. I've never sang in front of a crowd or anything. I've only been doing voice lessons at this school for not even a month yet, not even a month. So there's literally, I shouldn't be comparing myself to these people. Literally some of the people in there have like degree. There's one lady, she has like a degree in opera. I mean, I'm not comparing myself to her. I'm okay. At least I can fathom that okay she's a trained opera singer i shouldn't even put myself next to her <laughs> but i was really sad that i didn't get that singing part and i'm gonna try to use that as motivation to just be better and be more strict on myself and like again i know this is like if someone's listening to this they're probably like oh my god no way she's crying over not getting a thing in a musical which is not even like a musical it's like we're doing scenes from a musical it's so silly, but I was, this is just what I want my life to be, music and singing. And the thing I'm looking forward to most out of college is getting better at singing. So I don't want to, I want to make sure I'm still putting myself out there and not letting myself get cornered or pushed out. Like, so I'm not saying I should have been like, actually, no, I should have the role, even though she's a better singer than me. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I should discipline myself more and use this as motivation to get better then the next semester I can be more confident and get better roles and just overall be a better singer and not feel as shitty and childish and just be more mature and not be upset over stupid shit like this. I'm very, I'm pretty very aware that this is all very silly, but to me it's not because I, I really, I want to be passionate about something and I want that to be music and singing and it's just my favorite way of, I don't know, communication. I mean, I guess just music's been a huge part of my entire life in like the listening perspective. It's something that can completely change my mood for better or worse. I can, you know, be really upset and just kind of force myself like, okay, you're gonna listen to happy music and you're gonna be happy or the reverse. I can have my mood completely altered by music and I wanna, oh my God, I'm disgusting, I'm sorry. It's not, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, music's just huge to me. And I'm like, I want to be passionate about something. I want to feel like I have a meaning in life, not to be super existential. I guess it's just like a phase people go through in their adolescence is you get like so aware that, you know, nothing matters, you know, money is made up, society, all that, you know, deep whatever shit. That's like annoying to hear little children talk about, but it's just, you get aware of that stuff and that nothing has meaning. So you might as well put meaning on something. You might as well assign yourself a passion. To give life meaning so you're not spending your whole life depressed thinking how nothing matters and just like you know being a consumer i don't know so music i want that to be my passion it is my passion i love music i just i could devote myself to anything i have the world is my oyster and i think that's the right saying like if i wanted to i could be like i'm gonna be the best doctor in the world okay maybe i won't be the best but i could if i from now on starting now devote as much time as i can into medical school and all that i could probably be an amazing doctor like if i actually was super disciplined and literally spent like all of my waking free time dedicated to medicine i could maybe be one of the best doctors in the world like it's possible i have my whole life i mean i'd be like in a year i'd be you know down the line because i have no prior experience but i was saying 
it's 100 percent possible and i would do that with music you know maybe not every second because i also you know nothing has meaning whatever but i still want to enjoy life i don't want to look back and be like oh i spent every minute of my adolescence working hard on a craft and i didn't actually have experiences as fun you know i want i want that too but so many people have balance and are success so oh my god successful with that so i want music to be my passion i just i want to block in on that and the way i can get better is putting myself out there and doing you know musicals i've never even was a huge musical fan ever i mean not that i don't like musicals but i've never really seen musicals never like had a huge passion but i signed up for this class because you know even if I, my dream isn't to be on broadway but this is a super cool class and awesome opportunity for me to expose myself to other singers and working with others and just using my voice and performing with it so that's like one of the best opportunities in my like bubble right now that like i can do this i can do this opportunity so i want to put all my time into it that i can i'm not gonna you know i also have a rock class you know put all my time into these music classes and also my own personal music because i also don't want to just be a student and only excel in these classes but then you know not be working on my own personal stuff i want to not put that on back burner but just kind of blend the two together because obviously they're aligned it's all music and i think i already do a good job not to like compliment myself but i think compared to some people i definitely you know for better or worse i'm not doing a lot of outings and fun stuff right now so i do have all this time and i do use a lot of it dedicated to music but i just want to like do that times two i want to be a ridiculous spend a ridiculous amount of time singing alone in my room and singing with others and putting myself out there because i can talk all this shit i can put my phone in front of me and start recording myself and start crying and being like oh my god i didn't make this musical role i suck and i'm never gonna get better no i'm not gonna i mean that's what i'm doing right now but i'm not saying i'm not gonna get better because as soon as i stop recording myself i might have a quick lunch break so that way i don't like distract myself during me practicing i'm gonna have a quick lunch break and then i'm just gonna sing and work on music and some guitar too for as long as i can until an interruption comes up and then after that, i'm done with that interruption i'm gonna go back to doing that and then i'll spend my night doing my homework and stuff so that way i don't have to do my homework during the day i can spend tomorrow day repeating it all over again and then the day after that i'll have school and then i'm getting a job soon because i haven't got one since i moved so that is going to eat up some of my time away from music but i can still work with it you know i need the money anyway so that's still important i'm i got my social security card so that's awesome i'm gonna get my permit now i have to do the online test so i'm not gonna not do that i'm not gonna be like okay i'm gonna not work now and i'm not gonna not get my license because i would dedicate all the time music now i'm still gonna do those mandatory mandatory to me things but any other time that i would use just like doing nothing i'm gonna try to eliminate that as much as possible if i'm not if i'm in the car and i can't i'm not gonna be singing in the car i'm sorry i'm not gonna take it to that level i'm not gonna <laughs> that'd be annoying but if I, if I have to go in the car i'm gonna put my headphones in i'm gonna listen to music i'm not just gonna listen to music for fun i'm gonna listen to music and think okay what what pitch is she singing how would i do that you know try to i mean i'm not gonna say out loud in the car but you know think about that think about okay what goals am i setting for myself by this date i want to have this song good i want to i don't know show someone me singing that which is easier said than done the other day i have you know you know like those cool professors you know sometimes they get a little weird not like weird weird but you know like all in all you can tell even if they seem a little weird you can tell their intentions are mostly to be cool and inspire you i have one of those he's not even my teacher but he's one of those teachers who are like oh okay so you say you want to do music show me one of your songs and i was like oh well, i'm still working on it like give me a little time he's like show me one like well tell me the name of them and I was like, I mean, I have one called Road Trip Destiny, one called Could You. He was like, oh, play it right now or show, show me it. And like, I totally respect it. Like, if I was a teacher, I'd want to be that kind of teacher. I mean, not like, because it, it motivates me. It hella motivates me. Like, that's my mentality. And I'm like, disappointed in myself that I could, that I didn't have something to show him, that I was too self conscious. And honestly, yeah, I didn't really have a good recording of me singing either of those songs. And also, some of those songs are kind of personal, and it feels kind of weird to show them to like a teacher who I, he's already one of my teachers. I just like, met him at college but like i want to fucking get a good recording of one of those songs and show it to him even if it's shit you know i'll tell him you'll be fucking honest give me your critique because i'm not gonna get any better if i don't do that shit okay i can embarrass myself all i want i'm 16 in college so i'm not gonna be as good as these 
30 year olds in college who are, have already gotten their degree or already have a musical career or a career in anything. I'm not gonna be as good as them. But I'm not gonna get better if I don't expose myself and just practice more. And also just like a wake up call to me, stop like smoking. <laughs> Cause that's a fucking terrible thing for me to do because I do that and then it messes my whole day up. And then I can't fucking focus, I can't sing. I just have to go to sleep or just waste my time. I need to stop doing that. I'm not gonna get any more stuff. I'm not gonna drink. Cause that's just bullshit, you know? There's so many amazing people out there who would be so much farther in their goals if they didn't do that shit. I'm not saying I'm like trying to be mean to those people because I understand the struggle. I understand this temp temptation, but it really like fucks up those goals and can really delay them. You might still accomplish something you want to do eventually, but it might have been two times faster if you were, you know, spending the last time altering your state of consciousness and actually doing that shit, you know? Maybe if I, you know, probably not because just because I don't have experience. But if I wasn't spending any time doing any of that, and if I had really locked in at singing since day one, since my first voice lesson, since the first day of college, maybe I would have got that musical role. Maybe I still wouldn't, but maybe I would have had a better shot. Maybe I would have gotten another role. Someone would have been like, oh my God, your voice is really good for this. I'm gonna have you do this. That, that's possible. And I don't want that to happen to me next semester. I don't want this to happen to me just my other classes. I want to push myself as much as I can. And just, and like that, there's also another level of that is like trying not to seem like a bad person. I mean, I'm never gonna try to be mean to someone like verbally, but sometimes it's like, oh, someone's saying like, oh, do you wanna do this? Do you wanna talk on the phone? Do you wanna do this thing with me? Which, you know, it's not like a required thing, but it's like a suggestion. And I don't wanna be like an asshole and be like, no, I'm gonna work on myself. I'm gonna practice. Cause like, yeah, I'm doing that for myself. That's what I wanna do. Ideally, honestly, I'd probably rather be spending my time working on myself. Unless it's something really fun, because again, I don't want to waste my whole adolescence being serious. But I want to find a good balance in that too, and not seem like an asshole. I don't want to be remembered as the girl who was like, oh no, I'm not gonna do that. And again, like, if I do say that, I don't word it in a mean way. I just say, I'm sorry, I'm busy right now. But I don't want to, you know, turn it into super inclusive or whatever. But I just... Okay, I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna stop recording myself, because what? This is just embarrassing. I would be so embarrassed. I don't know if I... I don't know. This is just my honest emotion, so I can't be like, oh, I'm embarrassed. Because this is just genuinely how I feel. Even if it's so silly that this whole little fit started over me, not getting a, oh my god, I'm sorry, a role in the musical. But this is just genuinely how I feel. I'm sure years from now, I'm going to look at this and be like, oh my god, that was so silly. But maybe I'll look at this and be like, okay, this is when I really locked in. This is when I started taking shit seriously. It's like, okay, if I say, if I want to put meaning and passion on being a singer and making music that can't just fucking yap about it and say well i want to do this well that's fucking stupid okay i'm not gonna get anywhere if i do that so this is my locking in no more bullshit no more me like oh i wish i could do this but then i you know after i stop recording i just you know do something that's not important no so i'm gonna stop recording right now maybe get lunch super quick and then I'm just gonna lock in for as much free time as I have uninterrupted. Obviously, I can't, you know, dictate if, you know, I have to go in the car and, you know, go with the foster parents somewhere. You know, I don't have say over that, but every free second I have that's up to me, I'm gonna spend it working on my shit and not just thinking about it. So, with that, I'm done recording and I'm gonna go back to doing that.